your beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to do a classic style review. We're going to take a look at Pump House's Blueberry Ale, the fifth and final bottled type of beer available from Pump House Brewery in New Brunswick. They bottle five varieties, uh, one being their Pump House uh, Blueberry, obviously. Um, they've also got the Pump House Cadian, uh, they've got the Pump House 80 SOB, uh, they got the Pump House uh, Fire Chief Red, and also a Scotch Ale. Um, not all their beers are in, uh, available in all markets, but I've actually seen Pump House's Blueberry as available as far away as Jasper, Alberta. Actually, we, we were on a, a trip in the, in the summer of 2009. And we actually saw this sitting in the, one of the liquor stores out there, <laughs> which is actually, I thought, quite awesome. But, uh, you know, I digress. Um, I think, like, their, their Cadian Ale is only available in New Brunswick, and uh, I think the Scotch Ale has gone the same way, too. But uh, the Pump House Blueberry is actually one of their number one beers. It's really one of their uh, their, their most popular. And... Um, it's very, it's it's even more popular in bars around here because uh, well, the way they usually serve it, and they serve it at like this at the Pump House Brewery in, Ferg in Moncton. Uh, they also serve it um, this way in the St. John Ale House in St. John, where they actually bottle this, they actually pour this beer into a glass and then serve it with blueberries in it. And because of the the density of the beer and the carbonation of the beer, the blueberries float to the top, then back down and up and down and up and down. Yeah, it's it's very amusing. <laughs> anyway, so Plump House Blueberry Ale is a wheat beer made with uh, with blueberry flavoring, obviously. So, um, yeah, it says ingredients: water, barley, malt, hops, blueberry flavor, and other natural flavors. What do you mean this isn't a friggin' hmm? All right, so I just checked the Pump House website, and apparently it is a it's a it's a pale ale with blueberry. I always thought it was a wheat beer just because of the way it tastes. Um, like I've had this before on numerous occasions um, myself. It's one of the very first craft brews I ever really drank. Um, like Pump House, I've ever had a real big thing for Pump House around 2008-2009. Anyway, so this one here it comes in as 5.0 ABV and it's a uh, very popular beer from, uh, from Pump House. So let's Crack it open and check it out. And the pour here. Well, one indication that it's probably not a wheat beer is that the head isn't very aggressive. Like usually, wheat beers have a lot of head retention, so that they the bubbles come off of it and just explode pretty much out of the top of the glass. It's like a hefeweizen or something. So, uh, looking at this one here, it is about a, eh, give it a look here, it's basically a golden brassy kind of color on the yellow side, lighter yellow on the bottom and the top, but not very, just your basic straw color. Um, came up with about two fingers, have had and died off down to a finger now, and it's dying even faster, the bubbles are dissipating quite quickly. Hmm. It looks nice, but it's, it looks just basically like your pale ale. Let's give it a sniff. Now, right off the top of the nose, oh, shoot, sec here, readjust the camera. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a while since I've done a stove top review. Anyway, giving it a smell here, the first thing you get off the top of the nose is blueberries. You get these nice, ripe, fresh blueberry kind of smell. With a with almost a creaminess twang, like the website actually uh, labels this as a as a blueberry cream ale. And while it's got this sweet smell of blueberries, you also get this touch of caramel malt. And this is why I think it smelled was it's like a wheat beer or something is because you also get touches of clove and banana. There's a, there's, a, there's a nice, mellow banana smell in the background of that one. Maybe a touch peppery as well. Hmm. It smells really nice. Like, when you pour a glass of this one here and you say, hmm, blueberry beer. If you're really a big fan of blueberries, you're probably going to like the smell of this one because it's really, really nice. Hmm. It's good to taste. It's got a creamy mouthfeel. 
just a touch of, touch of toasted grain in the back. But over the front of the tongue, to the tip, the, the middle, to the, basically over across the entire length of your tongue, you get this nice, sweet blueberry. It's not like a strongly sweet anything, like a malt liquor or anything. It's this nice, gentle sweetness of blueberries across your tongue, along with touches of banana and clove. And there's a slightly earthy, slightly peppery but bitterness to the very back of the palate. Mm. The hops in it make it almost crisp, but it's not quite. It's close. Finishes off quite dry though, but the mouthfeel of it is generally nice and creamy. Very satisfying. And it's 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 medium to light. Like it's not so light that it not so heavy that it gets stuck in your throat, but it's not so light that it feels like there's hardly anything there, like a light lager or something. You get this nice medium, medium to light kind of mouthfeel with it, and it's actually really good. And a nice lingering, a lingering bit of bitterness in the back, as well as some nice blueberry taste. Now, it's not a very uh, hoppy beer, like it's not a very intensely bitter beer, but it's, it's, its bitterness is intense enough that you, that you notice it and you're pleased with it. It's better, it's I'd use is probably below 20. That probably makes it even sound stronger than it actually is. Probably more like 15 or less. But that that note of clove and banana just makes me think that... It always made me think that this was a wheat beer because it tastes kind of like a German Hefeweizen, kind of with blueberries. Well, crystallizing. Mm. And the, the uh, blueberry taste in the back comes out with lingering taste of maybe like an herbal tea kind of taste. Blueberry tea or fall. Mm, that's so easy to drink. Anyway, well, I got something left. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna come back with some thoughts. Be right back. And we're back with Pump House Blueberry. So, what did I think about this particular beer? I actually really like this one. Um, as far as, as fruit beers in general go, this has got to be one of the finest fruit beers available. This uh, particular bottle of beer, um, nice blueberry tastes, uh, nice mellow and easy drinking flavors, uh, great great sessionable beer as well as a great summer beer as well if you're really into the fruit beer type. It's weird to think though that it's just a regular cream ale because um, it's got a nice some, some typical uh, like German style crystal wise and hefe wise and kind of flavors like banana and clove in there. But it's it's got this nice nice peppery finish, nice uh, like earthy bitter peppery finish to it. And it's just a well crafted, well put together, uh, easily sessionable beer. It's it's still not like my, my favorite beer of all time or anything. But I really like this one. And uh, I think I'm gonna give this one a four out of five, just because it, it's it's definitely Pump House's best brew and also their most famous. So, I mean, if you're passing through New Brunswick and you get a chance to try this, or if you're anywhere in the Maritimes that sells this, definitely recommend trying it. It's uh, it's really good. Anyway, thanks for watching uh, Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Talk to you guys later, and uh, cheers. <laughs>